Hey everybody, welcome back to another Using the Forge video. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to set up and create your own custom character sheet. And I'm stepping off the last video, which is about setting up attributes and automation. So making a character sheet in GM Forge is pretty simple if you have a sheet that you want to trace. What I mean by this is if you have a, an image you can use for that character sheet. You can build a sheet from hand using the JSON or using custom code, but we're not going to talk about those cases because they become a little advanced. For now, we're just going to talk about taking an image and making a character sheet from it. So, to get started, you want to create a new actor. In this case, I'm using the actor from the last video. And then you want to click on the Sheet tab. Up here at the Sheet tab, you'll now notice that everything is now interactive and highlights. This is because you can make individual changes to a character sheet based on what you need. But in this video, we're just going to dump this whole sheet by clicking on the blank sheet here. Now, once that's done, I'm going to want to select a sheet background for this character sheet. I'm using one I found online, but you can use pretty much anything. The dimensions for this image is 700 pixels by 750 pixels, being your width and then your height. Now, now that I have my image background set up, I can start to fill in and trace these fields so that they actually do something. Think of it like a form fillable PDF. I can go into the paint mode and then I can select the area I want to draw. In this case, I want to use the class variable, which is under info class. And then I can select it and it's added to my sheet here. You'll notice that line appears. Now I can enter my data into that area. Now I can continue to do this for all these sheets and I'm just going to speed through it right now. Now, I've got my basics set up, but I want to do something a little bit more interesting, such as tracking equipment, or tracking my spells, or tracking my traits and features. Now, I can set up a container by holding down control, and then dragging an area, and I can actually use this for drawing uh, inventory lists and other more complicated stuff, and I'll show you that in a minute. Once you have your areas pretty much drawn out, you can then use them afterwards. I'm going to make sure I add areas up here too for the bonus fields. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and switch back to the build mode. Now in the build mode, like I was saying, you can actually address individual components and set them up specially. So in this case, there's a couple of presets I'm going to be using and I can add new items to these containers by simply left clicking on them and then going to the add elements or add attributes. Here I'm going to add a new element which is actually a spell book. And you'll notice now I have a spell book app in here for me to use. I'm going to do the same thing for equipment and I'm going to do the same thing for my talents which in this case I would be using as feats. I can rename them here if I'd like by simply clicking on it, going to the configure option, name in the raw JSON. You can't use the input tab because this actually isn't targeting anything. So in this case, I'm going to change it to new feature. Then I can hit confirm and you'll notice the change happens down here. So now I have a fully functional sheet. I have new features I can add, I have an inventory, I have a spell book, and if I need to make any changes to any of these, I can just simply click on the areas and go ahead and configure what they look like. So I can use the visual properties to change how they look, change the background, etc. So now you have something workable. Once you're done editing the sheet, you can actually stop editing 
And then now we can interact by typing in our alignment, chaotic evil. We can type in our background, charlatan. Uh, and we can do classes and things of the like. We can add new items, etc., etc. New spells, new features. And you have something actually to use. Yeah, so that's about it for this video, guys. In the next video, I'll show you how to do more advanced things, such as setting up checkboxes, customizing fields, and making them buttons, etc., etc. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.